You've probably seen Sleepy Hollow Farm on Instagram or TikTok. From here, we'll stop by the famous Sleepy Hollow Farm, which we've all seen all over social media. Out there! When the leaves change, this quaint little spot rivals Grand Central Station. This is insane. Hundreds of cars line the narrow road, trying to get that perfect pick. It's worth dealing with the crowds because this is the most picturesque place in Vermont. The problem is it's not an actual tourist destination, but somebody's private residence with real life neighbors. People showing up and walking all over private property and peeing on the side of the road and on private property. Neighbors Not like today. Mike Doton and Amy Robb say it's Yesterday. out of control. We see people in dressing rooms, like they bring dressing rooms to change in different outfits and take pictures. Yep. And it's not just privacy, it's safety too. Emergency vehicles often forced to wait in the traffic. So this year, neighbors petitioned to close the road to outside traffic from September 23rd to October 15th, raising the money themselves to cover most of the costs. Yes, it's beautiful up here, but please, um, could you make it so that our everyday stuff can get done? Like, I'm just trying to get home with groceries so I can make it. Okay. It's not only New England towns pushing back against tourists looking for likes. Across the pond in Europe, Hallstatt, Austria, which resembles Arendelle in the Disney movie Frozen, sees more than a million tourists each year. Now, its 750 residents have blocked the only road in. Venice just approved a new five euro tax on day trippers. And also in Italy, Portofino is issuing $300 tickets for lingering in popular selfie spots. Back in Vermont, townspeople say the latest move doesn't mean you won't get a spectacular selfie. So this is not the only place where you can see beautiful foliage. In uh, absolutely not. You can actually just drive up 89, which is our north south throughway. <laughs> and have a beautiful drive. Vermont's kind of pretty. <laughs> it is. <laughs> We're pretty lucky. Now, we did reach out to the owners and didn't hear back. The neighbor said it was okay for us to set up here today. They say it's really just a problem during peak foliage season. Last year, they tried to make it a one-way street so people could still come by, but they said that was still unsafe for them. And they said it also just comes down to common human decency and treating this place and the neighbors with respect, guys. I get it. Kristen, mm -hmm. thank you so much. What? No, I mean, you you're right. You you did go to see the leaves. Yeah, not Sometimes yourself in front of the leaves. <laughs> yeah, selfie. Yeah. Take a leafy, not Take a, a leafy. selfie. That's it. Okay, and then move it on out. Right, right. Dilly? I love the advice. Just driving the highway, you'll see the same thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's just Take a beautiful. picture with your mind. Exactly. Yeah. Make a memory. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.